Hey guys, how you doing? Bringer here. Welcome back to the channel. Doing a quick um, aircraft carrier preview video here. I'm on the PC version of World of Warships right now so we can look at the different aircraft carriers that are in the game. Now if you guys have seen the trailer video, you can see in that video that the Langley in the um, Legends version is a tier 3 in the Japanese Ryujo is a tier 5 in the trailer so I'm guessing that they might skip a tier like tier 3 and then go 5, 6, 7 if they just give us these 4 carriers per country nation so I want to make this quick video just so everybody can see the different ships and stuff. I'll be making separate videos on each nation going into detail, reading the ship descriptions and stuff. So if you want to see that, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about aircraft carriers and if you're excited about them or not, or if you don't, you think they shouldn't be added to the game. All right, so let's start off with Japan here. Got the Hosho. The Ryujo. Shokaku. Hakuru. Hakuru. For the Americans, starts off with the Langley. Ranger Lexington and then the Midway Now we might get totally different ships on the um, Console, but I kind of doubt it. I'm sure it'll be these ships So we got the Rhine for the Germans the Wesser We got August von Parseval and Manfred. We'll just call this one Manfred. Okay, United Kingdom. It's got the Hermes. The Furious. Replaceable. And the Audacious. So let's go back to the port here. Two little baby uh, aircraft carriers I got here. They're pretty cool looking. This is what was shown as a. Um, this would probably be a tier three on World of Warships Legends for the Japanese. Really detailed. And in the uh, the separate videos I make, I'll show the different types of planes that the ships get, what kind of armaments the planes have on here. Like I said, everything could change when it swaps over to the PlayStation. Got my nice alpha flag there for being an alpha tester back in the day when the game came out. The flag's pretty sweet. Gives you 5% extra credits in EXP per battle. All right, let's look at the other one, the Langley. I think this one's one of the coolest looking because you can see under the deck here the storage area It's pretty neat Yeah, let me know guys leave a comment. Let me know if you're excited for the carriers if you don't want the carriers I'm happy to see them come to the game because I started on the computer so I was kind of used to them So I don't mind them coming to the game one bit. I say bring it on. Look at all those any air guns sitting there. Get the big cannons here. And you your gun you can use your guns to shoot, at least I know you used to be able to. I'm gonna make a couple gameplay videos too. I was playing with the carriers just so you guys can see that. Let's 
Come back to the tech tree real quick. Like I said, so we get the, the Japanese, United States, Germany, and United Kingdom all have carriers. None of these. France doesn't have carriers. Italy doesn't have any carriers. USSR doesn't. So that's what we can expect. I'm sure they'll, they'll probably give us all four um, nations at the same time. If not, they're definitely going to be releasing Japanese in the United States first. If we don't get all four. Let's have a quick looky at the midway. She's a bad girl. Look at all those any air guns. Got some on the front. Got these bad boys here. Got the good planes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looking good. And you can see the different types of planes. They all look the damn same, don't they? They all say yes, that's um, 78. Hmm. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the preview of the aircraft carriers that we can expect to be coming soon in World of Warships Legends. And um, stay tuned for more aircraft carrier videos that will be coming out soon. Thanks for watching.